Hello, hello, and welcome back. Um, greetings and salutations, anyone that's still here or who is returning for the next episode. Uh, once again, if you're enjoying the story or want to hear more of what happens with our interesting adventurers, then feel free to like, subscribe in order to find out when the next session comes because I post these on a daily basis after we have our live stream. Uh, Twitch, YouTube, all in the description. So, uh, where we left off, we were in town, and the town was under a veil of illusion in order to obscure it from airborne intruders from the south that are heading towards the palace that you were interrupted from going towards. Okay. You were in the flamboyant bling jewelry shop, while the two of you were in the tavern working on your cloak and working on your alcohol tolerance. Before I leave the building, can I check out that third room? Yes. Okay, I, I want to check out the third room. You walk into the third room, and the first thing you notice is a dwarf in armor. Extremely shiny, beautiful plate armor with a double-bladed bladed battle axe across his back. And next to him is Heather, the barmaid you met earlier, talking to another dwarf behind the counter um, who appears to be wearing leather um, chaps and brightly colored silk clothing underneath. So my little three-foot furry ass walks up to the counter. Yep. So basically, to give a quick picture of this one for you, imagine a horse jockey as a dwarf. That is mildly entertaining. Wearing a leather apron. Or, sorry, leather chaps. Okay. You came to the wrong neighborhood, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, do they appear to notice me at the door? No, they're all talking very much amongst themselves. So can I make a perception check to see what kind of blacksmith this place is? Like it's not a blacksmith. You look around and it is very obviously the front counter to a stable. And you can see the doors open up to the side that gives open to a barn like area with a lot of what appears to be from what you can tell a decent amount of stalls in it and you can definitely tell by the smell that there are animals in there it almost feels more like home <laughs> i'm a goat man oh like your hometown oh animals yeah in this place animals 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 all the animals um Okay, I approach the counter. All right. So, the jockey-looking one. Sorry, Harbin, I haven't seen her anywhere. And Heather's like, are you sure? Nowhere? And they're relatively not paying attention to you. Can I just keep eavesdropping? Okay. They continue to talk about how apparently they haven't seen her for hours. Um, and once the... I'm just abridging it here because it'll take a few moments to get through all this information otherwise. Um, that apparently once the illusion drops and they're clear to come out again, then they'll go look for her. Can I make an inside check on the bombay to see if they're talking about the daughter? It's pretty clear they're talking about the daughter. Don't even. Yeah, I, I hear. I, I assumed, but there was a chance. No, I, I completely understand. I'm not even going to make an insight check for that because okay. it's, it's kind of obvious. I'm at the looking for her lost daughter. Yep. Um. Okay, they don't seem like they're paying attention to me, and I don't want to interrupt that kind of situation, so I'll just make my way to the tavern to let them know. All right. So you make your way to the tavern. He comes in. She's working on her cloak. She's a couple cups in. I Am I drunk yet? Make a con check. Or tipsy. Make a con check. 
We'll find out. Jeez. <laughs> Saving? Sure. That much. Three. Did no. you not one? No. No, oh. you're you're seeing double. At the world's that point, a bit spinning I'm, a bit. I'm gonna stop at that point and just. Um, I go up to her and whisper, specifically keep my lo- voice low. Um, I'm in the back corner with no one around me, so. I. There are ears everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I still whisper and tell you. Um, it appears that the barmaid's daughter's gone missing when the uh, lockdown started. They're talking about it at the blacksmith shop. Supposedly once the lockdown is uh, lifted, we, they're going to go searching for her. I think our best bet is to use Punk. Punk was the one that would have the most concept. He would easily know what she smells like, so once the lockdown ends, we might be able to assist them in finding the little girl. Okay. I'm guessing my cloak is done right now, right? Well, the head is stitched up, yeah. Okay. It could still use some work for the tanning process of it, processing it's of fine. it. No, I'll just throw that on over the wall one and... I'm gonna look at you. Let's You're go. really warm. We Let's can't go. leave yet. We can't leave. We can't. Punk is out back. Hunt? Yes. Actually, no, he's out front. No, he's out back. He's out back? Okay. Thought we'd put him out front. Before. No, you put him back in the stable in the back. Okay. Um, but even then, we can't risk being sane. It wouldn't do well for the guards that are escorting us honored guests to be seen traveling the town looking for the girl. And if. Punk leaves us right into the open, right into the main street, where we spotted. That would negate the entire purpose of us trying to just keep that on yep. the down low here. So, I look over at her. I'm too drunk to understand what Yeah, you, I, I see you slurring and looking at me like I have three heads. I'm just going to ignore you at that point. Um, then why don't we wait until after everything seems to be safe again? Who ask? Punk to go sniffing for her. That sounds agreeable. I head up to the barkeep, ask for mead. Okay. He hand you some mead. I'm gonna look at, you, like, either you or you or both of you at the same time, and I'm gonna be like, can one of you help me up to the room? <laughs> You're sober enough to talk. <laughs> that You're sober enough that to talk. That doesn't mean it shit. It means you're sober enough to walk, so you can do it yourself. <laughs> Your inexperience with alcohol is evident. <laughs> like, there are times when you can talk, but you sure as fuck cannot move. I help her. Well, I can't help her. I'm three feet tall. She's eight feet. I had a viewer make a suggestion that we should uh, apparently make you encounter a Tarask. Fuck no. <laughs> no. Why would you do that to us? Who? Yes, I agree, mofo. <laughs> Um, everyone should fear the Tarask. No, so I told him that you guys are level 2 at this point, so a Tarask would be much later, but it is possible. Um, even probable, and it's been a fear of the party, and then before I said, I didn't want to interrupt you guys talking. Or a bag of wasps. Oh god, <laughs> to be fair though, it's two. <laughs> <laughs> and kobolds. Yeah, yeah kobolds. Especially ones that are 0.5 tall. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Shut up. You do realize that means they're taller than me. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, that's funny. Um, All right, so you help her upstairs? Yep. All right, and you're passing out for a while? Yeah. Okay. So you'll be asleep for the next couple of hours. Okay. All right, and then what are you two doing? I'm staying where I was. Okay. I, had, I, I hang out in the downstairs, kind of keep an eye out. Can I make a perception check to see if there are anything above us? Sure. 320. Actually, 21. All right. Then at that point, as you look up, you do see three giant eagles with goblin riders on the back fly overhead. I call out to you and just say, still pretty busy out there. Okay. You guys are just sitting tight for the next like hour or two? Yeah. I maybe try to take a short rest. I don't think we need it at this point. It's probably, what, four in the afternoon? It's about one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, yeah. So I'll just hang out, keep drinking. Okay. Um, early evening comes, around five o'clock, as it's getting dark. Okay. Um, you wake up. Okay. About a half hour or so ago, Heather returned to the bar, still frantic about her daughter missing. Um... 
the a couple, the dwarf that you had talked to, apparently, in there, Bonton, um, has already gone out looking with some other people. You don't get too much of a detail, but you find out that some people have gone out for a search party. Uh, they're not sure what happened or where she went. Apparently the last they saw her was right as you guys were getting ready to leave. Okay. Um, the elf guard uh, reappears. All right, folks, we are keeping the ward up during the evening, but it should be relatively clear. Uh, we do ask that you do stay off of the main street as much as possible still at this point, because as from the sky, it just looks like part of the road. Um, but other than that, you're free to move around. Um, would we be able to offer our assistance in the search for the local girl that went missing? It would be greatly appreciated. Solemnly nod. Um, you come downstairs like the end of the conversation. Wait, what? Who went missing? The Barkita Keeps daughter. Oh, fuck. Um, I think we're gonna try to have Bob assist in the search. Not Bob, uh, Yeah, okay, you expect some type of bleed over. Um, Punk. I have to admit, your name is now worse, because I'm going to confuse the shit out of it with Bob. Um, but Punk is, uh, we should probably try. I, I go to the barmaid. She's still at the front of the bar. I ask her if she's got an article of clothing for her daughter. Uh, for a cent. Yeah, of course. She goes upstairs, comes back down a few moments later with a bonnet. Perfect. I, I thank her, and then I go outside to the stables in the back and go to Punk. I follow. I follow him, too. Okay. So you all go out to Punk, the 15-foot skunk. <laughs> yep. So... I'm going to use I'm gonna use the animal vocal cords to cast Speak with Animals. Okay. I give Punk the bonnet while she talks. Were you going to do the same thing? Yeah, since he's my skunk. So you so. both kind of do it? Co-op effort. Right. Come on, guys. <laughs> Teamwork. We're trying to save a little go. Do I add to it? Because I don't... Get into it. No, you guys have learned the spell at this point, so you don't even have to roll to make the cast oh. at this okay. section. So, the skunk is still asleep. I'm going to kind of scratch its head to wake it up. It kind of coos a little bit. <laughs> rolls kind of into it, and that's about it. I'm going to gently shake his arm. Gently, a gentle shake. Punk, punk, you need to wake up. He pulls his arm back away from you, and then his other arm comes over and like scoops you up to no. cut to pull you in towards it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call it again, punk. You need to wake up. Even I kind of jostle him a little bit, even though technically I like look up at him. And now touching his phone. All right, he wakes up. Um, and proceeds to hug you in a little bit closer and looks up and you, because you have Speak With Animals active, you both hear him say, <sighs> What's going on? Do you remember that little girl that liked you a lot? Yeah, the one that gave you sweets? Yeah. She's missing. Do you know his scent? Like yeah. I go over the bonnet and... She's gone. Could you maybe help us find her? I'm hungry. I'll give you some jerky. Okay, I go find her. <laughs> I hop on. <laughs> I'm very careful with my legs. Make a dex check. <laughs> Get shaken off. Probably. Um, saving throw? No. Five. I didn't fumble. <laughs> I didn't roll no. that one. Okay, you are able to not land feet first like you usually do. Okay. Pain. That's painful. At least he didn't stab me again. You need to be gentle with him. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, um, so you're on him, and so you guys are heading off? I pull up my, cl I put up my hood of my cloak and... Follow right. them. So let's see how I well. I thought we were just gonna send the skunk out because it would be safer. Well, I have permission from the guard, don't I? Yeah, yeah. So we're going. <laughs> let's see if there's a little girl. It's a smeller. Smeller. And he starts scooting off towards the woods in a generally <laughs> easterly direction. I hold on tight. Am I able to catch up to like sort of 
hit on him. It's not running off at full okay. speed. It's so scurrying I'm, I'm off. I'm walking and keeping up So you guys can keep up with, up with it, no problem. Oh, okay. But I want to climb on him. Well. Wow. All right, make an acrobatics check to see if you can hop on as it starts taking off. 21. You just backflipped onto the side. Oh, you guys are way too lucky with rolls. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Uh, uh, maybe I should put you up against the rask. No. <laughs> Unless we can charm and run it at this moment. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be able to charm or run. You know how big a Tarrasque really is? No, no, I can just take one for the team. Do it as a seductive dance. <laughs> take me. <laughs> Run for it, guys. Sater seduces a Tarrasque. Sater seduces a Tarrasque. Oh, yeah. I'm okay with it. I know that the physics of it is I'm going to die. No matter how it's done, I'm going to die. Yeah, I... I but... Unless it's a female. Oh, do you think that would kill me any less? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> just semantic science here. It's a three-ton creature. I'm three feet tall. <laughs> How much the donations of nat 20s you roll, I am fucked. A Tarrasque picks things out of its teeth bigger than the satyr is. <laughs> a female Tarrasque would still kill me. <laughs> they are witness to the destruction from a distance. <laughs> from Mofo. Um, yeah, alright. <laughs> Instill the fear. <laughs> alright, I like this guy. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Even I can't argue with good commentary. Um, um, Alright, right, so. So yeah, you start heading east into the woods. Um, Cloud, uh, no trail. No trail? No. Right. We're going right on scent. Right through the brush. The skunk has absolutely no trouble skittering all through it. I hold on okay. tight. It's able to keep the trail. Keep the trail. Um, so who's keeping eye out? Me. Me. Like, I think all of us. Yeah. Like when we're looking right, for signs, you make a perception check. Um, eighteen. Twelve. Sixteen. Okay. It's dark. Um, you see a small scrap of clothing while you're going through the woods that looks like it's been ripped off of, like a dress or something that basically looks like about the same color as what she was wearing this morning. Uh, okay. so you're pretty sure that you are on the right track. Um, you're not sure why she would be going through such wood dense woods or where, and she's going in a basically straight direction. Um, you notice the fact that this is a small um, game trail, but it's incredibly difficult to see in the low, low light that you have, especially at the speed you're running through this trail, because the skunk's going at full bore. Yeah. Okay. Um... And you do see a few creatures off to the side that you are bound way past before you can even think about what they might have been. Um, the skunk is extremely silent as it's scurrying through the woods as well. Um, you barely hear any leaf clatter or sticks or anything. The um, Skeksis running alongside is making more noise than the skunk. Makes sense. Um... After about 45 minutes of going at full speed, you come across a small clearing where the skunk stops and seems to have lost the scent of the child. And you don't see anything except for a small clearing. It was most likely picked up. Can I look around and... Oh, investigation check. Can I do it as well, looking for cut tracks or something? No. Yep. Investigation check. 16. Sixteen. Twelve. Sixteen. Alright. Um, you notice after investigating that there is a ring of white stones surrounded by a ring of toadstools in the center of this clearing. The two of you can see what looks to be paw prints leading directly to the circle of stone and toadstools. We should go back and report this to the elves because they'd know what to do. And yes, you can make a history check. Can I too? 
For history? You can. You, it's at disadvantage. Oh, shit, 11. You have one more than me. That's a history check. Is that the 16 or an 18? 16. Okay. Okay, and uh, Mofo says, Will of the Wisp I read is also a fun monster for lower levels. It is. It most definitely is. Um, not what I have planned for this one, but maybe in the next one or future. Because there's a couple places where Will of the Wisp fit much more into that. Um, and Will of the Wisp is still a bit rough for them at this level, considering that they're two bards and a warrior. <laughs> um, can I make a survival check to see if there's any indication of... Struggle? What the paw print belongs to, or Can where direction it came from, or... Sure. That would be a nature check. And I'm helping him. My history was a 21. 18 plus my 3. The fairy tales that you were told before... Um, I just rolled an 18, your mom so 18 told plus you, for you. Okay, that so you've never heard anyone else talk yes. of, and your mom told you not to really share. Talk. She, one of the stories that she told you were about a toadstool ring that children would be swallowed up by and brought to another world. Oh, fuck and it, sometimes, yeah. just sometimes, if you're able to find a special type of creature, then you might be able to strike a deal for their return. I rolled 21 on my nature check. Okay. And you got a what? 18. 18? Yeah, both of you figure out that this looks to be... Uh, dog-like but a very decent sized dog it's not a wolf it's more broad like a mastiff or like heavy hunting dog i'm gonna look at you because you're in front of me right on punk yeah we that's why i said we need to go back to the elves no, I know what this is, but we need to tell the elves. I said with her, we should tell the elves. How are we going to get back here? We followed a skunk through the forest. What, you don't think there are elves everywhere right now? Speaking of the skunk, he's kind of moving out towards the center of the clearing. As he gets to the center, he starts nibbling on one of the mushrooms. You guys can talk to my kid. Punk, what are you doing? No, the spell is faded at this point. And I cast it. Yum, yum, yum. Don't eat yum, those. Yum. Don't eat them. You didn't cast it, I did. Yum, 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 yum. Punk, stop. Okay, cast it. Yeah? Okay. I tell him to sort of stop. Oh, yum, don't yum, 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 yum. Well, have you fed him the jerky yet? <laughs> oh, Mofo, thanks for following. Great to have you. Well, that's the thing. Have you fed him the jerky? He's probably starving. I'm gonna get off him, and can I give him five pins of jerky, five pieces? Gonna help? Yeah, you can feed it to him. He's yeah. already eaten the mushroom. Yeah, I'm just sort of doing that. I'm just gonna... Push them into the side of his mouth while he's chewing on the mushroom. <laughs> Mofo says he looks forward to these fine people's destruction. <laughs> it's, probably wrong. it's the entertaining thing to look forward to. Um. Can I examine the circle in the middle? Now that. Yeah. Don't go in it. Investigate. Twenty-three. It appears to be perfectly natural. It's a face circle. That's out of game, because I actually know what it is. Even the circle of stones appear to naturally have rusted there. You really have the urge to walk in. No. Well, I'm the only fake. well, I guess these are the fake creature. It's up to you if you want to go for it. You don't feel anything bad about it. Yeah, you don't really feel much of anything other than the fact that there's a circle of stones and a circle of mushrooms. I jump into the circle. Okay. Make a con roll for me. God damn it. Oh, Honest. 
you guys should go back and go get the village. But honestly, I'm just surprised I thought that the mushroom would actually stop it from working this whole time. But, um, 18. 18? <laughs> you feel as if the entire world has been stretched apart and then popped back together as you find yourself in the clearing, but it's the middle of the night. We don't and see him anymore, do we? No. And we'll get back to you in a moment Same and what you circle. see. And so he jumps into the circle and poof, disappears in a bright flash. There's a tree near me, right? Obviously. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get off the tree. Off. I'm gonna get off of Punk. I'm gonna go to the nearest tree and sort of put like a carving into it to like mark. Okay, so you mark the tree. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I'm gonna grab Punk and try to lead him back up towards the village and on the way up just keep marking trees. Okay, so you're abandoning your pa- patriot. Gotcha. All right, she starts walking back. On a whistle. Like, because we're in the elven woods. There's a search party of elves. They're going to hear a whistle and think, hey, there's something over here. Okay. So you whistle loudly. In response, you hear the call coming back to you of a bunch of different birds. And a low growl. Butcher's knife. <laughs> I would jump in with me at this point, but that's me. So, back to you. You jump through. It's middle of the night. And there you see this gorgeous black mastiff that looks to be about five foot at the shoulder. So taller than you. Huge. Like, this thing could be your mount. On its back... With its legs kicking up in the air, and you see the barmaid's daughter rubbing its tummy, giggling and laughing, while this small person stands behind playing a fiddle. You're practically immune to charm, so the fiddle will do nothing for you. There's other things you can do than charm. (laughs) Yes, I am immune to charm, but if that was its only option, I wouldn't be the problem. It's about two and a half to three feet tall. It's about my height? Yep. I walk up to him, actually grinning, because it's the first fucking person my height I've met in this whole fucking world, except the same that got me. What's over at you? I am Begora, that'd be a beautiful breastplate I'd be seeing there. Oi, I picked it up recently. I sit down next to him off of my whiskey flask. He's a fake creature like me, it actually... That's some beautiful gold there. Not mine, no. Nope. And it's attached to me at the moment. Well, that doesn't matter much. So what brings you here to my country? Um, I'm not exactly sure what I am. He stop playing. That's fine. His hand lets go of the bow, and it keeps playing <laughs> as he takes the flask from you and takes a drink. Hey, this be some good stuff. Much obliged. Um, it doesn't appear like she's in much danger. I point up to the little girl on top of the Mastiff. Why would she be in danger? She comes here every so often. Oh, she was reported missing in town, so we decided to help look for her. She forgot to tell him she was going again, didn't Probably. she? Probably. What did I tell you, that lass? When you're going for a walk, you got to tell him you're going for a walk. Otherwise, they come here, and then I get hunted, and that'd be bad. Can I make an insight check on the creature in front of me? Sure. It's about 18. Oh, I'm sorry. 16. My bad. Okay. It doesn't take much to realize that the creature that you're looking at, though they may seem harmless, it's a okay, you should be completely deathly afraid for your life at this point. And you can feel that. Okay. Um, this is something old and powerful. Otherwise, he seems to be in a very jovial mood. Um, doesn't seem to have any problem with you or anyone else. Um, it's pretty obvious that the massive that you see is his pet, and the fiddle is still playing without him actually using the string. The bow. Okay. What are you guys doing? Oh, I said that I was still walking. Yep, you're walking back towards town. Yep, still walking some trees. Uh-huh, she's disappeared into the woods. 
So you're left alone in the clearing. I'm gonna look over at the circle. Look back towards where the growling has come from. Well, the punk is the opposite me. direction that she went. Punk is following me, right? Like yep. he usually does. Okay. I'm gonna go over the circle. Okay. You gonna what? Step into it? I'm gonna basically speak out loud. I don't mean no harm. Just want to be safe. And then I'm gonna step into a circle. You step into the circle. Yep. Nothing happens. Oh shit. Rejected. Well, I was gonna too. Well, Do not was, activate the portal. Well, I was gonna say. <laughs> I, I was gonna say. It almost seems like it'd be disadvantaged because it made sense with me. Because as you pointed out, what is it? Oh, what does it look like? It's a face circle. What are you? Not a face. <laughs> I mean, face will go right in. That's why I'm not worried about it. And I assume it's a face dimension, which as much as I know. Um, but yeah. All right. So you're walking. You're in the middle of the clearing. The growling fades off, um, and you are sitting there speaking to this short person in green clothing. So I, I think I forgot to say green clothing. It's yep. a leprechaun. Yeah, I, I don't think everybody got the hint. It's a leprechaun. Um, I asked him uh, very politely, with respect. I actually um, just uh, so once she's done playing, will she be deposited back in the village with no issue? She can go back anytime she wishes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that she was in good hands. It seems like she is right here. Right, whenever okay. she comes to the woods, me pop there, make sure she gets here safely, and make sure she gets home safely. Excellent. That sounds much agreeable. I just wanted to verify there was no danger for the girl. It seems like everything's great. She turns around. Yep. I come here and I play with the short guy and the fuzzy umpkins here. Mommy doesn't know, so don't tell her. She says that talking with the elves and the fae folk is a bad idea. But he's so nice. I scratch my head. I won. A fey folk. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to move to the side of the circle and just wait. Okay. Um, You're now about halfway back. Mm-hmm. I basically am like, am I allowed to leave at any point? Is that agreeable? Of course. Okay. Um, I give him another flask. I give him another hit of my flask of whiskey. Thank you. Um... So what are you doing out in these parts other than looking for her? Um, actually, I haven't seen a Seda here in ages. I guess what are the ones? Um, we're from the south down in Foxfield. Kind of on the run from the crazy king down there. I heard they were all dead down there. Hunted down by one of the kings. We be- I believe that my predecessor... You haven't heard that story. Wait, really? Like, they were killed? Hey. Hunted down about, I want to say... 70, 80 years ago. Is that when my dude died? The dude that found me? That's shortly before you were found. To read about the same time you were found. So if a random sailor kid came out of the woods, where were my parents? Answers question. Huh. I did not know that. I take a sit at the rock. As far as I knew, I've only ever met one of the Seder who wasn't blood. He uh, picked me up. I became the town crier for Foxfield. Because it was a job. And they let me brew my own whiskey and mead. And you brew a damn good job here, lad. Much obliged, sir. <sighs> I think used to get along quite well with the old Seders from down south. It was sad to see them all go. I was even more upset what happened afterwards. But that has nothing to do with you personally, so... Yes, you are free to leave at any time. I'm just sitting by, just <laughs> waiting, just... So, are you a native to these lands? You're in my lands now, sir. Valid point, I... Valid. Um, Usually a visitor does not ask the person whose home they visited if it's their home. I meant no offense. <laughs> That's not how I meant it. <laughs> None taken, just a bit strange. This is all very unfamiliar to me, being that I'm not exactly used to this type of stuff from where we are. I've never actually been to a place like this. I'm honest. Oh yeah, you've never seen the Feywild. The trees themselves seem to never stop moving. Flowers have odd-shaped flower petals. 
You see eyes that seem to glow from the woods that appear and disappear at random intervals. And you hear odd sounds in the distance that you can't quite differentiate what kind of creature they would be coming from. I wonder if Dobby's here. <laughs> I asked him if this kind of stuff was common in the south at any point that he knows of. What kind of stuff you mean? People like me, people... Aye, they used to hundreds of you. Like entire villages? Aye. You don't know your history at all, do you, lad? It's not much to know in my mind. I was raised for a job and I did the job. <sighs> it's amazing how history so soon gets overwritten by those that conquer it. But... I'm not much of a storyteller, so I have, don't have too much to tell you other than the fact that they were all hunted down and killed and the face circles were destroyed, the stone circles were destroyed, along with quite a few others. And as you go through history, you find out that, you know, down south they destroyed quite a bit over through the generations. Why do we stay up here and elsewhere? But you are free to leave at any time you wish, sir. Unless you want to play a game. Mm. Mm -mm. That's the problem. You do realize racial traits? Sages love games. Yeah. They love drinking. They love games. I'd have to make a contract not to want to play. Not to have been drinking with them. Oh. I'll bet you a gold coin. And he pulls out a large, shiny gold coin. Would that be like three gold coins of mine? <laughs> it looks to be about three to five of yours. So I put down, I look at it, size measurement, put down the three to five coins I need to equal weight. Okay. Because it's so hard to see. He puts it down on a stump that you don't remember being there a moment ago. Okay. Takes one of your coins, puts it down on the stump. Okay. Brings out a die, puts it on the table, mm -hmm. and says, all right, you choose, high or low. I'll be going for the high. All right, roll. <laughs> you roll a one. <laughs> I roll a six. <laughs> he gladly takes your coin, puts it in his pocket. You notice that as he picks it up, it enlarges. To the same size as the one that he has down on the table. Okay, sorry. Would you like to try again? One more time. High or low? I'll go high again. A five? Fair as it be. I rolled it too. Here you go. And he hands you back your gold coin and the gold coin that he put down. Which, yeah, weighs to be a good five gold coins. Okay. Now give me a chance to win it back, sir. This time I choose low. Do you do you play? He puts a coin down. I put a coin down. <laughs> Five. So you went low. So. <laughs> yep. You win the coin. He looks a bit frustrated. One more. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Say no! Say no! Double or nothing. Say no! <laughs> you had two again. coins Let left from the five that you pulled out it. for it. I'll nod. Oh, no. Okay. Hi. So, I'm going low then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls a six. You roll a one. I rolled a three, so I lose. Uh, you should make a weighted dice for a trickster. I have those on another tune. <laughs> <laughs> so I won? Yes. I take those four of his coins now, which I don't think I'm at to. Am I right? Yep. And I put them in my pocket. And I bow. It was double or nothing. We ran. I won. <sighs> Fair enough. Now almost all my coins are gone. Would you be willing, would you be interested in a job? If I can do it, I will. Most likely. You see those coins you have now of mine? 
part of the four. Hi. And you, you see how they're a bit different than other coins? Bigger and larger. I tried to balance it out weight-wise. Hey, they are a leprechaun's gold. If you could find me other gold coins, I will pay you a king's ransom for each one. In fact, if you're willing to sell me back three of me coins, I'll reimburse you right now. I hand him back the three coins. He pulls out a diamond that looks to be worth at least 500 gold. I'm waiting. I take it. And takes his coins back. Yep. And how will I be able to locate your other coins? The coins sing to each other. So if I keep this one, it should make a noise if I'm near another. Aye. Are there any in a particular direction that you could get sent me in? Uh, I'm not able to go out into the physical world as you are there. The portals work for you, they do not work for me. I am trapped in the Fey Realm here. Alright. But, if you can bring them back to me, knock upon a mirror three times with it, and I shall be able to take it back from you. Alright. And this is how we become rich. Do you agree to me terms? Extend my hand. He takes a fingernail, pricks his finger, and hands it out to you. I take his hand. As he takes your hand, you feel his fingerprint prick, his fingertip prick into you, <gasps> and you feel a warm sensation travel up your arm. Oh no. Now don't you be stealing me coins, boy. I look at him dead faced. And he can inside check me. I'm a man of my word. Alright, now why don't you take the last and go? Much obliged, sir. I call the girl down. I cut. want to play with the puppy. Your mother's very worried. So what? I just tell say. Tell her there's a hunting party for her. We don't need to panic her. We just need to tell her the truth. I, I kind of gently, firmly think. I never even got. I, actually, before I leave, before I even shuffle the girl out of there, I, I forgot your name. Oh, a, a title. I know names are a little weird here. I'm still trying to get the hang of that. Apologies. And I am. <laughs> we shall see what it takes for you to earn me name. I have traveled a girl out now. But Josiah, I know of you. You gave him your blood. What do you expect? <laughs> Really could have killed me in a heartbeat if you wanted. It's not like I had Yeah, and you never said your name. That is true too. I never did. I nod. Your intelligence is high enough to realize that. Yeah. I showed the girl out the door, the, the circle. Okay. All of a sudden, standing right next to you is the satyr and the little girl. Who ah. looks very dejected and upset. Hey, Realm. She's alive. Let's take her back to the town. I look a little girl. Your mother's word's sick. Take a perception check for me. Eleven. It smells sweet. Making your way back to the tavern? Yep. Kind of holding hands with the girl. I Can I persuade the girl not to be so upset? I just want to make another roll. You want to try and calm her? Yeah, calm. I don't want to actually use the spell calm. I just want to persuade calm. You don't have the spell calm, I don't think. <laughs> 18 plus my 8, 26. Yeah. She's, she's By good. the time you're like halfway back, she's calm and skipping again and perfectly fine. You were only gone for a couple of moments here. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. You reach the edge of town, okay, and the guards that were with you before, <laughs> as well as the township people, are turning the town upside down, looking for her. The skunk just keeps going right back to the stable. It's pretty sure it knows where it's supposed to go. Um, I look over at... And what are you doing? Is the mom come to me, or...? You don't see her at this moment. No, you're right on the outside of town. As we're walking, I whisper to you offhand action. Don't mention anything about the fair room. Whisper. Just don't mention anything about it. Clear cut. Girl doesn't. Little girl doesn't notice at all. <laughs> Do I notice that um, Skep didn't come with me? Yep. It's just you and the skunk. 
the skunk walked off. Yeah. Back to the stable. I'm gonna sort of sign then turn back to go peek for her. Look for her? Yep. Alright. She's a distance off. You're not gonna be able to see her. I know. I'm just gonna be walking down the trail. <laughs> you're gonna walk back? <laughs> yeah. I'm just... You're all the way back to town and realize, oh shit, I forgot someone. <laughs> <laughs> the skunk's gone too. Um, yeah, so, yeah, no problem. You make it without any issue. Um, actually, I want to... Can I take my wolf cloak off of my wool one and just sort of put it over my arm to have it better? I'm not wearing two cloaks. That's okay. Um, yeah, Could no have problem. that back at the tavern as well. I don't think I was going to steal all shit. Definitely gonna make a cheat sheet for all those stuff that you can buy. Um, sorry, talking to myself. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> oh no. Um, Mofo Money said before about how I should make weighted dice for the trick for a trickster, and I had commented on that, and it brought up the um, think things need to be mixed up. Make the DM change their dice set because he said dice, but it doesn't bring up any of the other stuff like blessings and curses and other ways that he can. Screw with you guys. <laughs> you don't need to mention that. <laughs> oh, we're fucked. You don't need to mention that. You said that. something and now we're fucked. <laughs> it's gonna find out how to do it. Oh, oh god. Oh, god. <coughs> yeah. No, 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 don't say anything. Don't type. No. I thought you weren't gonna allow us to get like the merits and shit, like at negatives, because that would be kind of shitty. If you're like, oh, you have a D negative D six to that, I'd be like, I'm gonna go find this. One. <laughs> it's like, don't be fucking with my wolf. Bitch. <laughs> blessings, sure, all the time, dude. I'll take free shit, but yeah, blessings, curses, yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> critical, curses are different. Critical win, critical fail. Yeah. You know, you gotta make it fair though. I mean, if someone can do something nice for you, they gotta be able to do something bad for you too. Oh, that's point. Okay, plus they can also use it on me. Well, yeah, that's true. That's when shit gets in. You know, that's what you guys made use of last time. <laughs> <We all did. laughs> and it's still open for you guys to use it, too. For all players and viewers. Be part of the story. Corrupt the DM. It makes it more interesting for me to play with. So, um, yeah, so after about ten minutes, you guys all meet up in the middle of the woods. You... Catch up to them and. Would you just hand her? Oh, she that fell on the floor. I had it on the chair. It didn't stay me. on the chair. <laughs> yeah, probably from. Uh, um, Abby's. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh. So, yeah, you meet up with them and the little girl's with them. Oh, you found her. Yep. You meet up with her and Skunk's not with her. It's Spunk. He's back at the stable. Okay. Spunk. If you want to. The is being turned upside down because they're all looking for her. Yep. I, I stare her right in the eye as I say that. Yeah. So is this turning from Punk the Skunk to Spunk the Skunk? Yes. No. no. At this point. That's no. a tongue twister. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, um, well, we found her, so we'll bring her back to her mom so that she's not panicking. His name will not be Spunk ever. So. It's gonna Wait in the lag. Mm-hmm. But, um,. Yep, so I say we make up, we get back to town and let them know that she's all right. Mm-hmm. So you guys walk back into town. Yeah, guards meet you like before you even get to town. All excited, they quickly pick her up, start scolding her as she starts crying on the way back, looking at you guys longingly for help. Okay, you get back to the tavern, and the barkeep is down there with all the guards, and it looks like half the town all sitting there drinking away, very happy to have someone back who is nowhere to be seen, along with the mother. Probably a mother scolding the daughter. Yeah. So we're back in town, right? Yep. I'm gonna go to the tailor shop for the bag. She's no one there. What? Everyone's Door's in the locked. tavern. Oh yeah, okay. I go for a walk around the town. With that gold piece handy in case it starts whistling. Nope, no sound from it. Hmm. Head back to the tavern. Okay. Um, so yeah, you find out from the barkeep that, yeah, mom's upstairs yelling at the little crow. Figured. Your skunk is being addressed in the back. 
Thank and being you. well fed. Thank you guys so much. If there's anything that we that I can do, you know, you're already staying here and eating here for free, so I can't offer you that like I <laughs> do normally would. Do you have a would. hat I could borrow? A hat? A hat. What kind of hat? Any hat. Um, sure. Take the hat off of his own head <laughs> and hands it to you. It's like a I'm gonna go over the put newsboy it down. cap style. I'm newsboy put cap. It down. And pull out a hurdy gurdy. Hey, music. Okay. Make a performance check. Are we at the tavern? Yeah. I jump on with my pen flute performance <laughs> check assisted. <laughs> eh. 23. 13 on me. You get back from the clothing shop and they're all playing. Everyone's kind of dancing and having fun. I'm going to go sit down. Okay. And that's all you guys are doing? Celebrating. We, we found a little girl. Mm -hmm. I sold myself a pay to do it. Mm -hmm. You make two gold in your cap. Um, and it's a otherwise pretty quiet and eventful rest of the night. Um, after being, after partying out for about an hour or so, um, the tailor comes up to see you and hands you your brand new bag. Hey, good. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I'm going to invite her to have a drink with me, I guess. Him, her. What is it? It was a her. her. Young elf. Okay. What's the description, I believe? Um, yep, so it's a very finely crafted, very lightweight. It fits everything that you had into it, mm -hmm. into the main pocket, it with plenty of room left in all the other side pouches. It can fit the wolf cloak down in there, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put that in there. And there's still room to spare. That's good. I'm gonna put that on my back, under my cloak, but right on the sword that I have hanging there, too. Okay. All right, and then I take it you guys are just gonna crash out afterwards? Pretty much, yeah. All right, so you guys party out. You all get a nice little buzz going. You make sure you write down silken backpack with multiple pet with many pouches. I kind of want to time skip to like, like past the other day. Cause well, we, we don't know. It's, we don't really have anything to do. That doesn't mean shit won't happen. Well, at this point, we're coming up on the hour mark again. Yeah. So at each hour mark, as we usually do, I'm going to take a short 20 minute break so I can go suck a fag. I mean, uh, have a cigarette. <laughs> we can start food too. Yeah, you guys yeah, we accept can start your food. Fags, your fag sucking, okay? You don't need to be ashamed of it. <laughs> well, you know, I just love to bring the flamer to its tip, suck on its shaft until it's spent. Uh, it's a complete smoke show. <laughs> I'm so used to that. It's not even funny at this point. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the break is going to start now. If you're enjoying the show and uh, want to continue catching us, make sure you make like, follow. You can check us out on Facebook. Our live shows come up on Twitch. Our next show will be on Wednesday, the 27th at 4 p.m. Um, these, each of these hour-ish videos will be posted on YouTube in subsequent days. You can review at any time. Um, as well as possibly other challenges and stuff for YouTube in preparations for next game where you can maybe affect what's going to happen in the next game. Um, yeah, so take a peek. Um, and we'll be back in about 20 minutes then, okay? Uh, it might be a few minutes longer just because we're starting dinner, just to warn everyone. Thank you.